Well, I'm Dirty Moonshine, and then you've got the Dirty Moonshine big bands. It's uh, lots of jazz trained musicians um, and people that love jazz and blues and swing, but also grew up in warehouse rave parties. So we love it dirty, but we love it jazzy. Where's me fucking gun? The good thing is by having the Dirty Moonshine name and the Dirty Moonshine Big Band, I already had a fan base, so then there was so there was already like some that would come, but nobody knew what to expect. And then yeah, 2016 was a big deal for us um, because people like Shambhala and Boomtown put us on the main stages, and we didn't disappoint. I'm um, I'm an MC. You're gonna listen to no flow like this. I'm really good at singing as well, but I'm just I'm just shelling. <laughs> <laughs> On stage, like everyone's top of their game in this project, which is amazing, and like definitely part of why I'm so proud to be a part of it. We're like a family now, you know. We've been doing this for like four years now, so we're a tight group. There's something about a dirty crowd; they really give it all. And by the time you do your last song, everyone's pouring sweat. I mean, when you get that, you reciprocate it back as well, and you've got this giant feedback loop of of madness. <laughs> I always think it's important that if you're going to be on stage, you have a stage outfit. You have to, you, you, you need to look different. Like, you see these amazing bands sometimes, and they're really incredible, and they just look like any old Joe Blogs off the street. You're like, oh, come on, just early electro pizzazz. There was a phase where everybody kept piercing their caps, um, and they put studs and holes and horns and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I just started doing it as well. I used to have four, actually, two big ones and two little ones. It's become such an, like, a, a symbol of, of, of Dirty Moonshine or something, it's the horned hat, like you can spot it a mile away. Uh, our trombone player, one of our trombone players, George, did a crowd surf while playing trombone, that's pretty epic. And then at Bristol, Maria Lavu, the other vocalist, uh, was in a Zorb ball and did a crowd surf with that. That was quite interesting to watch from a stage perspective, so those, those would be my two most interesting things with the big band for sure. If you've never seen Dirty Moonshine before, what do you get out of it? It's, it's original, and I know, I know it's like it's hard to say that. You know, when I talk about bass and talk about swing, maybe you want to jump to the conclusion it's electro swing, but it, it really isn't electro swing. It's so far, far from it. I promise you'll get the most, one of the most entertaining shows, one of the most original shows. You'll see a wide scope of talent. You won't regret it. <laughs>